Um, welcome back, you all. Place XP is back with placement talks. Here, with success stories, we try to help you um, make your path towards success. And today, to, um, we have with us Gunjan, um, who will share with us his story on how he reached his goal. And I hope that with this, it helps you all a lot. So, Gunjan, will you please like to introduce yourself? Uh, sure. First of all, uh, thanks to the entire Place XP team for having me here. Uh, myself, Gunjan Agrawal, and I'm currently in my uh, final year uh, pursuing computer science and engineering from VIT Chennai. Recently, I won the uh, JP Morgan and Chase Code for Good Hackathon, about which I will be speaking here, and I was uh, offered a full-time uh, role over there. Regarding the company, so as you all know, JP Morgan Chase is an American multinational bank. It's one of the big name in uh, investing, uh, investment banking, and it's one of the oldest bank in the world. And uh, it offers all kinds of financial services. And in India, it's operational from, I guess, uh, 1900s. Um, well, first of all, congratulations on your selection. So um, would you like to share with us how the selection process was like and the ratio of students who um, applied and how many actually got the part? So uh, there were uh, three rounds in the entire selection process. Uh, round one was a hacker rank coding test, which consists of uh, two coding questions. Uh, round two was a uh, was an AI proctored interview on a platform called Higher View, and uh, these two rounds were basically open for everyone who who were supposed to participate. And after this, uh, uh, students were shortlisted for the hackathon. So in hackathon, uh, around 650 students were there from all over India, and uh, from our college that is VIT, uh, or total 35 students got the offer. Well, so um, would you like to tell us that like um, for getting selected in such a um, big competition, you need to prepare a lot. So what were your strategies and what were the resources you found the most helpful through your journey? I didn't uh, uh, like prepare specially uh, for this. So uh, basically, uh, what I could suggest is uh, the coding test is uh, pretty much uh, easy, like questions were pretty standard, so uh, most of the people could do it. Uh, and uh, the higher view test consisted of the HR questions. So uh, HR questions were also uh, pretty much standard, like uh, what are your short term goals and long term goals like that. So basically, these questions uh, anyone can answer. But, uh, regarding the hackathon, uh, one thing which I would like to advise people is that um, the requirement specification are given by the NGO. So in most of the cases, they are like the non-technical people. So try to understand the requirements clearly. Uh, there is a specifically a question answer session with the NGOs uh, where you can ask as many questions as you want. So uh, just don't hesitate to ask them the questions. And uh, like while pitching the product, whatever you have built, you are given a time limit of seven minutes. So try to cover all the features of your product and most importantly, show the judges and show the NGO people like how your product solves their problem. Your product may not be the best product technically, or it, it may not have all the features needed, but um, the prototype should so solve the problem. So that's the main thing. As you talked about the coding round, so um, can you please elaborate more on that? And what were the topics that um, you studied throughout your college year that were more important um, when it came to the coding round of um, interview process? Yeah, so in coding round, only one subject matters, that is data structures and algorithms. And uh, as I already said, questions were easy, so they didn't require any special preparation as such. Um, like there was, as far as I like, I don't remember the exact questions, but uh, uh, like any specific algorithm was not needed. A simple brute forcing was working on that. So um, as we are talking and like we know that for this, we need continuous practice for it to be easy for us at that point um, that we can solve questions and we can come up with um, the um, required answers. So um, do you think in this whole journey, um, being a part of technical and non-technical clubs helped you in any way? Yeah. So yes, uh, definitely uh, solving at any moment requires practice and clubs, uh, clubs helped a lot. Um, one of the main aspects with the club is like uh, like it gives you uh, it gives you some content to show to the recruiter that 
you know apart from academics and apart from your technical knowledge you have some experience in leadership skills you have some experience in team management skills also so basically hr around or uh, let's say in your introduction you can talk about that and most importantly uh, clubs give you a platform for networking with other people making new friends and uh, you know uh, like uh, getting exposure to some new technologies and all that stuff so yeah clubs are uh, pretty much important gaining all these um no all this knowledge and information what you need for the interviews is very important but it's also equally important to put it all together in a form of a resume so um, what was your strategy for making that perfect resume and how do you think that internships and projects that you did through your college life helped in that mm, okay so yeah perfect resume uh, matters a lot no doubt and in your resume like uh, first of all your resume should be short and crisp i mean it should not be more than one page resume and uh, uh, it should uh, it should cover all the aspects regarding you so uh, it should contain uh, your projects the project should contain uh, let's say two three lines of uh, description about the project or text tag which you used and it should contain any relevant certifications or course work which you have done um no doubt it should contain your technical skills and uh, some achievements or some or some ratings on some online uh, platforms if you have you can very well mention that and one thing which you which you should keep in mind is that uh, um if you are mentioning non technical skills and uh, uh, let's say some extra curricular skills you should not mention them too much like uh, your non technical and your extra curricular activity should not cover your uh, technical aspect in the resume because after all you are applying for a software development role and not for a non technical role can you tell us more about the um, projects you did in your um, college life and were they relevant when it came to the interviews and were questions asked about them uh, okay so as far as uh, jeetu mangan was concerned uh, there was uh, no uh, any formal interview Uh, sort of thing i already uh, explained the selection process to you uh, uh, but yeah, in like in other companies and in other recruitment process they definitely ask you uh, questions on project so uh, like uh, um, i develop pro- projects mainly in area of uh, web development so uh, basically node js uh, php mysql uh, sort of thing and uh, uh, like while explain like regarding the projects you should know the uh, project entirely from top to bottom even if it's not your work it uh, if some of uh, some part of the work is done by your teammate you should also have a brief idea about that like a high level detail sort of thing so that you can explain it to the interviewer what was your strategy through your college life to maintain your cgpa and um, do you did you find that it was helpful that you maintained it throughout um, the four years and like did it make any impact in keeping you um, ahead of others in your game uh, so uh, i can't comment on the cgpa right but uh, uh, definitely it uh, it it keeps an impact because uh, the initial shortlisting by by most of the companies is done on the uh, basis of cgpa and uh, uh, and like beat me or beat uh, my nine pointer friends or the top of friends everyone study the night before the exam so <laughs> that's that's the only strategy right uh, you you don't have to invest a lot of time in maintaining a cgpa just a night before exam is fine um thank you for everything that you have shared today in the end do you want to give um some advice to your juniors uh sure uh, uh nothing special advice uh, as such but uh, uh yeah like uh, um just just don't take uh, too much stress and uh, like just be clear with basically four things if you like if you are worried about placement just be clear with four things one is your cgpa your data structures and algorithms for coding your computer science uh, fundamental subjects and yeah, and your projects and that's it you are good to go um thanks a lot i'm sure your journey will help a lot of us um including me as i am also one of um the students in the same branch so um it and obviously lastly congratulations and um thanks a lot at last so um, yeah. thank you so much it was a pleasure interacting with you